if you haven't already learned about Philip Blanks, you are going to want to put him on your radar. He is no, um, he has done so much in his 28 years. I'm just going to give a brief synopsis of what he's done. He is a retired Marine. He's a former Kalamazoo football player, and he's most recently known as a local hero where he helped save a three-year-old boy from a burning fire. And he's doing so many great things, but we want to welcome him today and have him tell us part of his story. So welcome, Philip. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. It's, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. So tell us a little bit about yourself first before we jump into the story. Uh, my name is Philip Blanks. I'm 28 years old from Kalamazoo, Michigan. I was in the Marine Corps. Um, I went to college for sociology. I really like to help people. So um, I, find, I always find myself in a position where I'm helping somebody. and It always makes me feel good. Uh, I like to work out. I like to hike. I like the outdoors. I'm pretty, I'm pretty simple. I like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, that. kar good karma, Philip. I mean, good things can come to you. Too. Thank you. I appreciate that, sir. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about that day when you saved the boy from the fire. Like, what was going through your head? At first, it was I was in a slight panic because I was never in a situation before where I was in a fire because I was in the unit right next door to the fire on the third floor. Mm. And... I was getting ready for a workout with my friend. I was I was just waiting on the couch on my phone. And I hear a lot of people uh, yelling outside. There's a commotion. I thought there was a fight. And I just look outside. But everybody was just looking in a certain direction at the corner of the, the complex. And I thought that was pretty odd. And then a, a, few mo a few moments passed by. And somebody finally yelled out, there's a fire. So I scrambled in and grabbed all of my things, my keys, my wallet. Um, I looked for my shoes and I couldn't find them. So I just ran out of the door barefoot and I ran down the steps, three steps, three flights of steps. When I get to the bottom of the steps, um, there's a lot of people in, in the parking lot screaming, uh, a lot of, a lot of commotion going on. And the, the fire was just intense. Like you could feel the heat and uh, Rachel Long, rest in peace. She's the real hero in this. Uh, she was she did her heroic act by saving her boy, and fortunately enough, I was just able. I was in the right mindset at the time to to catch him, uh, the three year old boy. And like when I when I got outside, I was just in this mind state of like, who needs help? Like like my training just kicked in. Like I was I was very calm, and when you, you see me, the action. Yes, I, I, it was no hesitation. Um, when you see me run into the video, oh, I, I'll, I'll rewind it. When I get to the bottom of the steps, I'm looking around, and then I, I run across the parking lot and throw my things down by the dumpster. And that's when you see me run into the video, and luckily God just put me in the right place at the right time, and that's when I was able to make the catch. Incredible, yeah. incredible. Yeah, if you haven't seen the video, I, I suggest to everybody to go out there and take a look at it because it is an incredible catch. It was the, the catch of your life, I would say. And so what would you say prepared you most for that moment? My mentality, um, having the will to help somebody in a time of danger. I've, um, I've been training all my life for that, honestly. Um, I didn't know it was going to be in that type of fashion. Or I'd be catching a child from a from a fire like that, but um, I always I've always known that if if I was in a situation where somebody needed help immediately, I would I would be the one to jump on top of that and be a first responder in that situation, just because I, I feel like I'm built for that physically and, and mentally. So it's incredible, it's incredible. Yeah, you you awesome. are a hero, and you mentioned that the real hero is the mother who threw her, her baby, you know, over the railing to, and sacrificed her own life. And, and, you know, we, we definitely want to say, you know, that is an incredible experience and, and, and thank God that you were there for that. And do you know the family? Do you still stay in contact with the, with the kids? Oh, yes. The, the other hero, D'Artagnan Alexander, he saved the eight year old girl and he's like my brother now, uh, through divine intervention, how I, how I see this, 
But uh, the husband and uh, the rest of the family, we all sat down a few days afterwards and we had a deep discussion with each other. A lot of tears were shed. Uh, just, we really got to know each other and at the end of the discussion, we became family and we ended the, the, the conversation with smiles and positivity. So I, I really want this to be a positive outcome for everybody. Good. That's good. And did you know the family beforehand? No, I didn't. It is interesting how, um, you know, we're, we're brought together in different ways, right? Yes. Uh, it's, I still can't wrap my head around how, like, just how this happened. It's, it's, it's definitely a work of, of, of God mm -hmm. in my heart. Well, you're a true hero, and we thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing now. You, um, you're working in the executive protection field. Um, I hear you know our buddy Byron, and you know, how did that come about? Yeah, so, well, at the moment, I'm just doing corporate protection. I work for Allied Universal. And I was doing executive protection out here, but things just didn't go well with that. But um, I'm, I'm looking to get back into it, into it. And I will get back into it. It's just um, things are kind of slow in Arizona compared to California. So I'll, I'll get back into it. I'm still looking. And, and uh, Byron actually called me on the, on a job interview unexpectedly when I was at work. Um, it was when I seen it was who was who emailed me, I was just like, wow, like, let me get ready for this right, like, right now. It's, I had to get ready. So I, I, I got ready <laughs> and uh, he, we had the interview, things went well. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great guy. Yeah. I really looked up to him. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I want to get to his level, honestly. That's, that's what I'm striving to be. Uh, not to be in competition, but just to work beside him. So um, I have my dreams and aspirations to, to help people as well. And yeah. I, you know, I just, I want to, I, I want to strive to be that. So. I think you'll get there, Philip. You got the desire, you got the, you got all the, you got the skill set. you know? Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. You're definitely going places. Tell us a little bit about, um, your, your mentoring kids and, and you're doing things on that level. Like, like what's going on there? Um, I'm not a part of any organization on, on a major scale. If I am mentoring a kid, it's just I, I pull them to the side. If, if I'm at an event, I, I try and speak some good knowledge into them. But I am looking to work with kids through football as one project. I'm looking to run a football camp back home with my area high schools. But I want I want to do it differently. I want to incorporate education. Just let them know that that there is life after football and that they need an education, and not they can't just depend on sports. So. I, I want to create a uh, creative football camp to uh, mentor kids that way. And uh, another priority, I, I would like to help uh, veterans who are going through suicidal mm. thoughts. Um, I, I, I feel like the veteran suicide rate is just too high and it's, it's unacceptable. So it is. I, I would like to help out as many veterans and just as many people as I can in general, not just somebody yeah. specific. Well, are you trying to affiliate yourself with like the wounded warriors or the different organizations? Are you trying to do your own thing? Uh, right now I'm working with team veteran foundation. Okay. Um, what they are trying to do with their initiative is, is to help lower the veteran suicide rate through hyperbaric chamber treatment All um, right. instead of pharmaceuticals treatments. Yeah. Um, I'm a firm believer in that just of what that, what I've read and what they've told me. Um, they also have other Marines who, who've gone through that. So, you know, I, I'm going to believe my brother on, on their word if they're talking about their health in, in that manner. So I, I'm a firm believer in it. And if it's, if it's about helping veterans in a safe way where it's not harming them and they're getting better naturally, then I'm all for that. So I, I would like to help out as many veterans as I can and in as many ways as I can. So. We That's what I'm looking to do. Yeah, we're a huge supporter of our veterans, and so we thank you for your service as well. First responders as well, not just veterans. Like I said, I'm, I'm not geared towards just helping one specific group, but I'm just I'm having a starting point. I should Absolutely. say. Yeah, that's that's what you were made for is for helping people, and that's what you've done. So, thank you so much.
You're welcome. Thank you. So sure. I heard that there was something set up in your name at your former high school. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, Kalamazoo Public School Systems. Um, big shout out to them. I really appreciate you guys, everybody back home in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, they gave me, they put a scholarship in my name to the three area high schools, uh, Phoenix High School, uh, Lori Norris, and, and my alma mater, Kalamazoo, Kalamazoo Central. And it'll be a $7,000 scholarship towards tuition. And what what I want to do is give kids an opportunity to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. It'll be a competition, but I want I don't want them to feel like it's that if, if they don't get the scholarship because I want them to know that they gave back the uh, sense that they gave back to the community, that they built their resume and it'll just give them ideas to propel them in the future. So, but uh, the winner, I would like to see like who can come up with the most creative way to give back in the community and ultimately the like who, who just puts out the most but uh, like I said I, I want I would like everybody to know that they won at the end of the day so I'm I, I want I'm trying to work something so everybody wins I know like that's not the way to go but I want I, I want everybody to win in that spectrum yeah that's awesome <laughs> that's good. yeah that's awesome. So tell us a little bit, how has your life changed since all of this? You've had a lot of publicity on you and, and how do you want to use that to propel things for yourself in the future? Yes, I'm still trying to make sure the family gets the attention that they need and the, the awareness that they need for, for support and to get them back on their feet. Um, it's very important that the kids uh, have a positive um, recovery in this, in my eyes. Um, so I'm trying to just use my platform right now uh, to help them out and to help other people. I'm not about about me. It's not about me. So um, I'm I'm just trying to be trying to put all my ideas in my head on paper so I can so I can get it out there to 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 help people out. Yeah, that's wonderful. What kind of resources does the family need right now? Um, children's clothes, um, they have a, a furnished apartment right now, but uh, I would, I would have to, I would have to talk to them, but I'm sure maybe just some toys and some children's clothes as of right now. And how would people, um, uh, close for Corey too. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cut you off, but, um, the husband, I'm sure he could, he could use some new outfits as well. Um. So any any anything would be great. I'm I'm sure they would be grateful. I'm I'm doing my best to help them out. And do they have a GoFundMe set up, or is there a way that people can get in contact with him or the family if they want to donate? Yes, I have an Instagram, Philip um, underscore underscore blanks, just like that. And um, the GoFundMe link is in my bio. Okay. And I could text it to you as well. Okay. Philo, I'm just going to throw this idea out to you, but maybe, um, have you thought about maybe uh, doing some kind of raffle? We, we can supply uh, like a bullet, um, bulletproof uh, backpack. You can raise some money and then you can give that money to that family if that's something that would be oh, that, incredible. I'm open to the, hey, that, sounds, that sounds awesome. I'm, I'm okay, with we'll, we'll talk about that offline, but uh, you know, that, that might be a good way to, to, to raise some money oh, yeah. and then, you know, um, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I like that. Okay, and then like plus that. I still owe you a piece too. So we will. We'll, we'll oh yeah, I'd be, oh yeah, I'd appreciate that. We, we we need to we need to keep you safe, Philip. Oh yes, yeah. you're, you're good. You're a good guy. We we need to keep you safe. Yeah, I appreciate that. That heart. We would love to help out in any way we can. I mean, yeah, we are just so proud of you and what you've done for your country and for just locally, and you're you're just doing such great things and. So, um, you know, we, we really, really appreciate your time and, and this interview and, and we know that you're going places and we want to be a big part of that as well. Thank you. I appreciate that. And um, like you guys are, are wonderful for wanting to help me out. I really appreciate it. And the family will appreciate it too. And I really feel like God just put me in this position to, to help people because I've always had the will to do it. So I just need to take advantage of it now. In the and positive. you are. You are, Philip. So I'm sure uh, when we've talked about it before, I mean, it's a reason we, we all met up. Oh yeah. Uh, so we're, you know, 
let's try to let's try to do some good things together. Absolutely. Yes, sir. We can we can do it. We can do it. Very cool. Absolutely. Mike, forward. do you have any questions? No, I just want I you know I this this year has been very trying, very hard for people, and it's been, there's been a lot of negativity. So it's just nice to actually have a, a feel good story and. and you know, Philip, thank you for, you know, for your hero, hero, um, your heroic um, act. And just, you know, just, it's in your nature. You're altruistic. You like to help people. But it's, it's just a feel-good story. People, you know, need to you know, have things that they can uh, feel good about. So I right. appreciate you coming on and um, sharing your experiences. And, and we look forward to a lot of good things from you, Philip. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to shed some positive light today, yeah. and um, it's, it's it's been a blessing uh, given the circumstances. And I just want to make sure that this is a a positive outcome for as many people as I can. Yeah, I think you're you know you're well on your way, and you're doing the right things, Philip. So keep uh, keep up the good work. Really appreciate Thank you. it. Yeah, appreciate it. absolutely. And this is not the last that we'll be hearing from you. We're gonna follow your story, and we're gonna support you as much as we can because. You are a hero, and we need to highlight more of these stories, like Mike said. I mean, we, there's so much negativity. I mean, we need to highlight the good stuff. So, and, and you're the good stuff. So, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh -huh.